near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. This is Mr. Chris Claremont. A legend. Melanie goes, Pizza <gasps> Howdy, all you mentees. Uncanny Omar here from Near Mid Condition, the home of collector editions. And today, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 most wanted DC compendiums. So, join me. And welcome back, everybody. Back by popular demand is my top 10 most wanted list. This time around, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 most wanted DC compendiums. But before I go any further, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And a big thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Cannot be doing this without you all. So yes, the compendiums have kind of blown up over at DC Comics. They've been putting them out for a couple of years now, but in 2023 and 2024, they seem to just be coming out with more and more. So I figure now would be a good time to talk about what kind of books would fit perfectly in the compendium format. And if you're not familiar with the compendium format, uh, I have done videos on my channel explaining the different types of formats. I've done videos on my channel uh, overviewing the different compendiums over the years. So just in case, they are a standard size trade paperback, but they are thick. I mean, we're talking 500, 700, 800 pages. Um, I think one of the most biggest ones is about 900 and so pages. Uh, they are in softcover format, so that is uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, although some compendiums have been released in hardcover format at different companies, like Skybound, uh, Image Comics, or IDW, for example. Um, but yes, this will be a countdown. And I'll be going from 10 to 1, hence the countdown. And by all means, let me know what you would love to see in compendium format. And I know this format is not for everybody, but I just love things collected in different types of formats. Whether it's trade paperback or oversized hardcover, standard size hardcover. As long as it's collected in some kind of format, I enjoy them. So, let's go ahead and start with my number 10. And we're starting the list off with a classic Keith Giffen creation, and that is Ambush Bug. The story of Erwin Schwab, who maybe or maybe not got his powers from this costume that was sent to Earth from a distant planet. And I wanted to collect the early stories, like his first appearance, the stuff in the 80s, and any time he was ever in Supergirl or Superman. Uh, I believe there was a showcase of this, and the showcase was the black and white collection of this particular run uh, but i feel like it's just kind of yeah they've never had a proper trade paperback of this stuff collected in color and i would love for this era to be collected um, you know he's been part of what the justice league and doom patrol suicide squad what was the uh the uh-oh squad is that what it was called uh, but yes this is definitely one of those keith giffen creations and uh, also around the time that Lobo uh, was coming. Well, no, Lobo came out just... Well, no, maybe it wasn't right around the time uh, that this was coming out. But yeah, it, it's we're getting a Lobo compendium, so why the hell not? Uh, it was Paul Cooperberg that wrote the first story of Ambush Bog, uh, though. And he did appear... I forgot, he did appear in the New 52 era. Uh, but he's just an obscure character that I think, yeah, why the hell not? I think it's time that we get these crazy stories collected. Moving on to number nine, I want the Hour Man Compendium. Now, I was a big fan of Jeff Johns' series of J uh, JSA and Justice Society of America. Big, big fan of that. Um, and I want to collect the Hour Man series, mainly done by Tom Payer and Rags Morales. Uh, this is the story of Matthew Tyler, so it's this particular Hour Man that I want to collect. Um, but this series only lasted, I think, 25, 25 issues, and I wanted to include the Smash comics in here. It's just a series that has, I think it may have had a trade paperback, and that was it. When I was going back in the comics, because I think I had Scott McDaniel on the cover. When I was going back in the comics uh, from my hiatus, this was a series that I found really just underrated because everybody was talking about JSA and it is the character that is in JSA. Uh, it came out in, I believe in the late nineties is when this series originally came out. 
never fully collected, but I would love to see this collected in a compendium. Dr. Fate compendium. So what I want to collect here is Dr. Fate, uh, the very first volume, that is just the first four issues of the limited series. Um, and that's mainly done by, of course, J.M. Uh, Demetrius and then, of course, Keith Giffen, who would also collaborate together for years, and especially in the Justice League International series. Uh, but Keith Giffen supplying the artwork for that particular character. But I also want to collect all of, I think we can do it, 41 issues, right? All of the Doctor Fate Volume 2, as it was known. And that was the series that first started off uh, by uh, J.M. DeMatteis. And uh, Sean, Sean McManus, I think, was the artist on that book. And then, of course, William Messer Loeb's ended up finishing it out with Peter Gross on artwork. But by that point, we already had a different Doctor Fate. But I would love this series to be collected all in one compendium, including the little mini series that kind of leads into the ongoing series. Ah, uh, here we go. The series that I don't think anyone talks about, except when they do talk about it, they talk about the new series. And this is the Human Target Compendium. So there is a new series by Tom King, which has been really fun. It's 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 really nothing like the original series. There are a few elements in there, but I'm talking about the Christopher Chance series. It was part of the Vertigo line. Uh, it went on from 2003 to 2005. And it was just a really awesome series. I had one of the trade paperbacks and I always wanted the series to continue. Uh, it was written by Peter Milligan and you had artwork in here by Javier Pulido and also Cliff Chang. Uh, I think Cliff Chang actually is the one that ended up wrapping up the series but figure you collect the mini series uh the final cut and then of course human target 1 through 21 all in one big compendium all right we're gonna go with legion of superheroes compendium volume one and i feel like legion of superheroes is just one of those series that dc starts to collect and then doesn't properly finish out the series um and I feel like with the compendiums, they might have a broader audience because Legion of Superheroes is one of those books that is just, you, you know, people are always confused as to what version of the characters they're reading about. And I feel like there's some great jumping on points, but it is confusing even for veterans of comic books reading these things, where to best start reading Legion of Superheroes. So I wanted to call it a volume one, even though we are kicking it off with issue number 260. Um, and we are looking at the Jerry Conway era, but also, you know, Paul Cooperberg and J.M. DeMatteis and, of course, uh, Steve Ditko, Joe Staten doing some of the artwork in here. But taking us all the way through the Darkness Saga, this stuff has been collected before in standard size hardcovers, um, but I feel like this is a really good place to start and those hardcovers are now out of print so they're very very hard to find uh, especially volume one i think volume two is still in print uh definitely the uh darkness saga has been out of print for years that came out of the deluxe edition but i figured we start there with this particular era in compendium format hal jordan as the specter compendium or we can just call it specter the hal jordan era this is an era that has not been collected that well and this is a little bit of the spoilers uh in case you didn't know but uh, okay so in case you don't want to know what happens to how jordan how he became the specter by all means jump to the next book that i'm going to be talking about but in case you don't care about spoilers or you read the stuff and you're with me you're like hell yeah that needs to be collected well when how jordan died in the final night storyline he gave up his life right like because uh, he had become the parallax he had gone bad killed a bunch of green lanterns kyle rayner became the new green lantern so how jordan really didn't have a spot to fill in the dc universe so when he sacrificed himself he was made into the specter during the day of judgment storyline um so that's what's collected in here the five issue storyline by that was jeff johns actually that wrote that era and, of course, Jeff Johns is the gentleman that brought him back in the Green Lantern Rebirth. But I want that era of Hal Jordan playing the role of the Spectre for the DC Universe with a lot of stuff in here by J.M. DeMatteis. It's where he goes from, you know, like trying to redeem himself, but also showing vengeance and redemption for other people in the 
DC universe. He played, I think some of it has been collected in the Superman, oh, what was that storyline called? The Emperor Joker story. Some of it has been collected in there, but I want the Spectre 1 through 27, that era that has not been collected at all. Harley Quinn Compendium Volume 1. I feel like that's a character that, much like Marvel's Deadpool, was doing so well at one time, and now they don't really release that many Omnis of her. They didn't finish out the deluxe editions of her original series, and that's where I want to start. I want to start with the original series. Uh, you know, collecting the Batman Harley Quinn, though. You, I think that needs to be collected anyway, because that's where you start reading the character. That's when she first appears, right before No Man's Land. I... I don't want to collect No Man's Land because um, that would be a lot. So I don't want this to be like an epic collection, like Marvel's epic collection. I don't think that DC has done that. Uh, but I do want them to show her first appearance and then moving on to her ongoing series. Which I want to say they... I don't think they finished in oversized hardcover format. I feel like that era of Terry Dotson and Carl Kershaw... It might have wrapped up in trade paperback. Uh, but yes, this is a very popular character that I'm surprised we haven't had many more Omnis with her. Especially of this early stuff. So maybe the Carl Kessel and Terry Dotson era can be collected in a compendium. And of course kicking it off with that very first appearance by Paul Dini. Blood of the Demon. Oh my gosh. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this stuff has been collected outside of a trade paperback one trade paperback that only collected i think five or six issues this is the john byrne era of the demon etrigan and it's a series that very underrated it's excellent man byrne was writing it he was penciling it i think will pfeiffer ended up helping him at the uh beginning and then towards the end but i think byrne himself was writing or plotting it at least and then of course drawing it with uh, bud la rosa doing a lot of the inks in here so if you're a fan of etrigan or just that uh, that dark side of the dc universe before there was justice league dark this is a great series and one yeah that hasn't been collected properly jason blood how do we not have that collect it's got john burns name on there number two batman and the outsiders compendium I want to go back to the classic Batman and the Outsiders era. Stuff that has been collected in the Lux or no, actually, they were just standard size hardcovers. So the Mike W. Barr era, the Marv Wolfman era, the Jim Apero era, the George Perez era, that era of Batman and the Outsiders. She also had artwork in here from Alan Davis and um, Bill Willingham actually drawing some of the stuff in here be long before Fables. You know, cause a lot of people forgot that, well, forget that he was an uh, artist too. Uh, featuring, you know, Katana, not just Batman, but Black Lightning, Metamorpho, Geoforce, Halo, those type of characters that would later be revived in other incarnations of Batman and the Outsiders. And then, yes, I just want to collect mainly Batman and the Outsiders and then before it changed the name to just the Outsiders. Kind of like what happened with the later post-Infinite Crisis series by Judd Winnick. And my number one most wanted compendium, Omega Man Compendium Volume 1, collecting the early stuff um, and, uh, from Green Lantern, Action Comics, uh, New Teen Titans, and collecting the first 19 issues. So this is another series that I, I, I think has become popular because of the Tom King version of it with Kyle Rayner. And that's a great story. Oh, the 12-issue series was great, but... Has very little to do with the Omega Man, the original ones, and I feel like this series, this is from 19, what was 83, 84. Um, I feel like it, 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 you have the first appearance of Lobo, and we're getting that compendium. So maybe it's time for these classic stories. Of course, we're talking about Keith Giffen, uh, Mike DiCarlo providing the inks, but also Todd Klein, Todd Smith, uh, Doug Minch actually doing some of the stories in here uh, with a lot of Keith Giffen covers. Uh, Dick Giordano doing the inks for those covers and you probably could tell I am picking the cover that I would like to see on the uh, front of these compendiums it was really difficult picking one uh, a cover for the Omega Man because I really enjoy a lot of these covers now when and if these books ever come out you can check out our sponsors to get them. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books definitely check out Walt's comic shop in Berlin Germany 
They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my top 10 most wanted DC compendium list. Let me know in the comments down below what series you would love to be collected in compendium format, whether it's already been available in an omnibus format or trade paperbacks or what forgotten series. Because a lot of these, I think, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just speaking for myself. A lot of these I feel like not enough people talk about or have talked about over the years. But I would love to, these, uh, to, to, to see a lot of these collected one day in compendium. Yes, the Omnibus is my preferred format, but you know, I'm okay with getting these in compendium formats, makes them a little bit cheaper, more affordable, that's what cheaper means, and of course collected in one big book. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you for letting me know that you want to see more of these lists, and by all means in the comments down below, let me know what other lists you want to see. The year's almost over, so yeah, let, let's see what other top 10 lists I can come up with. Or what list needs to be updated, like my favorite Image comics, my favorite Dark Horse comics, my favorite IDW comics, Boom Comics, you get the idea. That's it everyone, stay healthy and safe out there, much love! <laughs>